out. Hmm. Another fishmonger, I believe, has a quest. Talk to him. Think. Uh, it doesn't look like a fish shop. It isn't. It's my home. Okay. Dried what? Knuckled head trout. Okay. Just talking about the merchant. The caravan hasn't arrived yet. We got no quest to really give us, technically, I guess. Just talking about how the caravan hasn't arrived. This is Rothgar's house. We'll go there after we took a look around town to see if we can pick up any side quests that I can remember. Ain't nobody in this place, and nothing to loot. I remember there's not quite as much loot in either in this game, not in the same way like Rubble's well, Gate, there's tons of it. Every house has stuff to loot. She's got a spear. Does she care? They don't seem to care either in this game. Um raiding parties. Band of orcs steals the women. Okay. Years goes by and there's a few more orcs running around. Right, so she's just talking about East Haven. She's got nothing special. Ah. This is the temple, in case we get killed. We go to. And, uh. Rays, which was happening to Tracy and I when we played earlier. We were having some trouble in the beginning. Talk to Johan here, Jonin or Jonin. We find out that he is having weird dreams. We tell him we'll try to help him out. Which means we gotta head down to the southwest where we find the person who's responsible for the dreams. Here, just a townsperson. Usually, if it says townsperson, that means there's no quest involved. Another townsperson and no loot. We can talk to good old Absol here, though. He gives us a quest. What's the problem? The wolf is in his workshop. And his door is locked. He broke the key off or something. So you kind of need a rogue, I believe, in your party to unlock the door, which we have. Hundred XP, some gold, and we got an item, which is Absol's dagger, plus one dagger. Nice. We have the dagger, not her. I think uh, Michael did actually the rogue. Yeah. And he will be using his bows, I believe, more often. It doesn't hurt to have that just in case. Something in here. Wolf pelt, nice. Then we can turn those in later in the game for a quest. So 
by the possibility of getting an item. Sure in towns, people. Nothing to loot in this place. Uh, what do you do, dude? Manage the warehouse for the fishmonger. Uh, he's got nothing special for us at all. So we should find the person over here. Who's responsible for his the uh Jonin's dreams. Here she is. Blue skinned woman. So you the woman Jonin seems in his dreams, yes, basically. She's a gift from him from one of his blood long ago. So we can give this weapon back to Johnny to complete the quest. She's named Elisa. She promised one of his ancestors, who lies dead beneath the lake, that she would return his blade to Jonin. But she cannot allow Jonin to see her. So if we take it to her. Now, I believe there's a side quest, another quest. If we don't give him this blade now, I think if we give it to him like very late in the game, late, late in the game, it's actually a better weapon. Um. Pretty sure it gives us like a plus five against one of the big enemies at the end of the game or something like that. I think I've never done that though, so I'm just gonna turn it in. I should probably keep it, but we're gonna just turn it in and get the XP for it. So we got 12 hours of XP. So now we can head back to her. And let her know that we turn the sword into him, which we should get some XP for that too. I think we got 1200 for turning it to him. And we may get another 1200 or so to talk back to her, so 2400 total, I think. Maybe? Yeah, we did. And we got an item, which is a pearl. If I remember correctly. And I think there's a thing to. Another kind of cheat. You know, the other thing's not cheat. You just gotta know about the sword. But I think there's a way to keep getting pearls from her over and over again, unless they fix that in the enhanced edition. And to be honest, I'm not sure how you do it in the normal one either, because I don't tend to try to exploit, you know, play with exploits like that, but I do know that there's there. Is this Jeb's house? Yeah, old Jed, I mean. Jed is an alcoholic. He wants us to buy him wine, I believe. Your desire. I think if we Save talk, it. even with her... No, she's talking to him. If we have a high enough intelligence, which our mage should have, I think we could talk him out of drinking. Um, cut me off. You got cut off. How about you do it without liquor? So we're telling him, you know, to stop drinking. Hmm, maybe we can't help him. Damn, we didn't we really mean to him. I guess he is the guy who talks to him. Ah, whatever, just do the wine. Ah! 
pretty sure there's a way to get him to stop drinking, but I don't know if the game always defaults to your main character talking. I think it was an intelligence check to get that done. And my main character only has 10 intelligence if you get a higher one. I don't know. But regardless, not a big deal. I think you get more uh, XP. Let's buy the bottle of wine for the poor guy. He's alone in a cold ass town. He can use some wine. So what do we get? We got 1200 XP, lost an item. Not terrible, I guess. So that's the Emporium. Here is the Snowdrift Inn, which we can actually, I think, loot. There's a few rooms in here we can loot. What's up, ah. Quimby? If we need to, we can stay here to rest. Good. Unlock that door. Welcome. That thing. Huh? Good. Pretty sure there's another one in here that we can unlock, if I remember correctly. Hopefully, we can get to it. The elf, I don't think, cares that we do this. Sky drop gem. Nice. <laughs> So who's this? Erevin Blacksheaf. Uh, let's see. What is the retreat? Hear any rumors? He says there's something wrong in the valley. More than just the weather. I don't think he has a quest of any kind to give us specifically. Mostly just a uh, little backstory about how the valley's messed up. Good Actually, now I'm here. Something amiss? Let's put our heal spell on Bell. You have my undivided attention. And our sleep spell on our mage. I love sleep in this game. The thing about this game is you start early. You know, you're level one in this game when you start it, so it's a little different than like Baldur's Gate 2 where you level nine or seven, seven maybe when you start, and you're already kinda strong. This game's very, you know Mona here has only six hit points. So does Sophia, one bad hit and they can die. So, so Damien here is telling us that there's monsters, we don't worry about them. They stole his fish. He's not happy. Let's throw a little bit of a script on our guys so they have one when needed. Standard attack. Is there like a barb script or anything? I don't know. I don't think so. There's druid, clerics, paladin, melee. Huh, the IWD pregen isn't bad. The character will defend himself if attacked or if he sees enemies. The character is under the effects of invisibility or sanctuary or if he's singing a bard song, turning undead, or hiding in shadows, he will not attack enemies. In addition, a thief or a monk using this script will search for traps when there are, en when there are no enemies nearby. I wonder how good that is as a whole. Let's try that one for everybody and see how they run. I like using scripts for times when it's just, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of fights in this game that aren't tough, really. I mean, technically. Let's 
a lot of, you know, a, like a slew of goblins or something, but sometimes you need to flip the scripts off and actually get in there and uh, do stuff straight up if things start getting a little crazy. Let's check out this IWN, I, whatever, Icewind Dale, IWD script. Pre-gen and see how they run like that, just out of curiosity. Alright, so there should be some definite goblins across the way here. Are they attack? Oh, they, I don't know if I like it. They're not attacking. Well, they did when they saw them. I guess they couldn't get down below. Yeah, there they go. So we got his fish back, high quality Morningstar. I know this stuff's really worth looting, I don't think too much. Let's get the fish back to our boy, Damien, here. Nice, Mona leveled up. Twelve hundred XP. I await your instructions. So Mona is a bar. I guess I haven't really played with bars much. So the pickpocket went up to sixty-five. It looks like she's got a level one mage spell, and her hit points went up, and her lore went up. Her lore is now forty. One good reason to have a bard is for lore. I know her mage spells aren't like the best. We gotta teach her some mage spells, actually. She's ready to go there. So we are kind of. I think we're done with most of these. I think the side quests in the town. We did Jeb's. We, we did the Scrib Shaker. We did Jed. Um, the Fishmonger didn't really have one, right? Pull mobs, no drift in. Uh, we did the yes, we did the wolf. We did that. We did that girl. We did that. Could be good enough to talk to our boy. Well met, friend, and welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable, but try not to break anything. Many of these curiosities that you see lying about have. Sentimental value. Where'd you get all the stuff? Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers from my days of fortune and glory. So you retired? Well, semi-retired, actually. This region is still untamed and fraught with many dangers. I have had plenty of opportunities in the last few years to take up my sword and shield and do battle with those who threaten the safety of East Haven and its neighbors. In fact, I am planning such an expedition right now. That is what I wanted to speak to you about. All right. We've received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? Uh, sure. Excellent. Glad to have you on board. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. Nice. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. Uh, what is that? We can help. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you can help. I just said that. Poma, the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Care Dineville is long overdue, and that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Uh-oh. Now, normally I take Pomhop's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows on the way... It would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. All right, what do you want me to do? I want you to find that caravan. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershaw, between East Haven and Caer Dineville. Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Once you find it, 
see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Calderhop Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey. All right, fare thee well.